The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Finally got it in my hands, as you can see right here. Now this is the ceramic white version, Snapdragon 855. And as you can see, here's the box. It's still factory sealed, as you can see. Very nice. So finally got this in-house. Let's just jump right in. Now, this is the unlocked by Samsung version. North American variant, so like I said, Snapdragon 855. 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. Check out the bottom of the box right there. Let's just dive in. And, okay, Samsung's trying to hide stuff from us now. How do I get this out from here? Wow, is there something? I can't get this off. <laughs> Woo, baby. What is, oh my gosh, hold on a second. Wow, Samsung, what are you doing to me? This thing is literally stuck underneath the lid. Yeah, it's stuck under there. Well, look at that later. And this is the phone. Whoa. Woo, look at that. Ceramic white with the matching font on the lid. Nice. Look at that. Ceramic back. All right. We'll let this boot up, put the phone out to the side, and then let's see what else is in the box. Here we have your power brick, which I think they updated the fast charging now, but it's still pretty much slow charging. It's fast charging, but slow compared to other companies right now. So it's nothing. So it's not your crazy 50 watt charger or anything. Anyway, put that to the side. This is your little adapter to transfer stuff from your older device. Put that to the side. And then here we have your... Phone is talking to me, but we'll get to you in a second. Put that to the side again. And then here we have, I believe these are the earphones. If I can open it. Wow. Oh no, this is the, <laughs> my bad, this is the um, charging cable. Oh, here are the headphones, duh, AKG. Man, what's wrong with me today, man? Damn. So let me, uh, here we go. So you can see, AKG earphones. Kind of wish they were black, like the S9, but I guess white is cool. All right, nothing else in the box, but then here though, let me, Dude, I can't get this out. It's like stuck back here. What the hell? Come on, what is this? Hold on, give me a second, guys. Finally. Get this out. Oh, look at this. I had to destroy the packaging, which I didn't want to do, you know? I like to preserve this stuff, but whatever. Let's see. In here is just part of your documentation and ish which we don't really care about, but we'll have a quick look. And yeah, just books and stuff, don't care about that. And this is your SIM ejector tool. Now the international version of this phone, the Exynos one, they get a clear case. Us in United States, we do not. So that kind of sucks. Would have liked to have seen a clear case at least, but whatever. Put all that to the side, this is the phone. Let's take the plastic off, shall we? Love that. Here we go. Put the plastic to the side. And it looks like we have a pre-installed plastic screen protector. Let me try to zoom in here a little bit. You can see the cutout right there. The camera and then that's the plastic screen protector. I'll leave that on for now just cause keep the glass protected. But here it is, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now this is the ceramic white version, 512 gigs of storage. And let's see, there's no plastic back here. Nope. Feels good. Okay, so let's kind of go through setup real quick. Let's go English. Yes. Let's look at the terms and 
conditions. Terms and I suppose I have to agree, right? I mean, what else? What else am I supposed to do? Next. Restore the settings and contents from your old device. It will not be difficult. Wi-Fi would be quite handy here. Choose a network. Quiet. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my network. All right. Type in my password. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Just a sec. Okay, gonna skip all this for now. Skip account setup. I just wanna get into the phone. Ah, let's see, use location. Nope, allow scanning. Nope, nope, accept. Now the fingerprint. Now this phone does have the fingerprint scanner embedded under the display. So let's check that out, right? Meow, fingerprints, continue. And we'll go with a pattern. And I'm just gonna put some random pattern here. Continue, do that again, so everyone can get into my phone. And scan your fingerprint, so you can see under the display, by that little indicator, hella tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and register my left thumb, and let's go. Make sure your finger covers the entire sensor. All right, so let's, uh... here we go, I have to press Harder, okay, 34%, 41%. Now I did leave the plastic screen protector on the device that came with it out of the box, so I don't know if that's playing a, I don't know if that's a factor, but maybe I should have taken it off actually, but it's all right. Continue, get a full scan, 93%, 100%. Fingerprint added, add another fingerprint, nah, we're good with the one. Adding finishing touches. Samsung account, we'll do that later. Skip out on all this, skip. All done, finish. And we are in. Hearing the Samsung noises, which is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to, go to settings. You can see one UI, very nice. And, uh, Let's go to, let's see, device care. I wanna see how much storage we have fresh from the factory. 100% excellent on the performance. Let's go to battery, whoops, not that. And storage, let's see, should be around, okay, so out of the 512 gigs, 50 gigs is used with all kinds of stuff, I suppose. So I'm gonna back off of that and let's take a look at the Android. Android 9 with one UI, 1.1 on this phone. Very nice, as you can see. All right, so let's go ahead and test out this fingerprint scanner. I just registered it. So let's see how fast this is. Now I did leave the plastic screen protector on, but let's just check it out. Am I doing that right? No match. No match again. There we go. Had to press a little bit harder. I should probably take the screen protector off now that I think about it. No match again. There we go. I'll play with it a little bit more, but I think that should improve. And here's the device. Triple camera set up on the back, wide angle lens, ultra wide, and the 2x optical zoom. Get your flash, heart rate sensor. On the bottom, you have your speaker, USB Type-C mic, a headphone jack, a very nice feature. Power button on this side. Over here, you have Bixby, which can be remapped now. I like that. And the volume rocker. And let's see, on the top of the phone, your SIM tray and another microphone. And I'm looking at this right now, I don't know if it's just me or maybe it's just the lighting in this room, but I don't know if there's a rose gold-ish kind of tone to the frame of the phone. Looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's, uh, fingerprint scanner, scanner. Okay, there you go. I gotta get used to that. Um, let's see here, let's test out the camera. Let's take a picture of something real quick. 
Here, here's my S9, and uh, let's just take a shot right now. This is, as you can see, this is the, your regular lens right in the middle. Take a shot, and then we'll go ultra-wide. Woo, look at that. You can see everything on my table. Look at that. You can see the iPhone right there, the Note 9. This is sick. Take a shot of that, and then we'll go zoom in. There we go, you can see my S9 Plus. Wow, that's great. Thank you, Samsung, for finally including this wide-angle lens, though. I can see myself using this for a lot of things. We'll take a look at the pictures right now. And then allow location, we're gonna deny that. And then uh, let's see, this is the, take them to 2X zoom. Nice and sharp as you can see. And then we'll go this way, this is the ultra wide. Look at that, you can see everything on my table. Sick. And then this is the, uh, just your regular lens. Nice, I dig it. Let's test out the speakers. We'll close this for now. Not now on the update. And let's do a quick search. Put it next to the mic. Speakers sound pretty good. I dig it. All right, let's do a quick size comparison. This is the S9 Plus from last year, as you can see. From the front, I turn both on, get an idea of the display. Whoa, that display on the S9, on the S10 Plus. Woo, that looks pretty nice. From the back, pretty much identical in size. And from the side, S10 Plus is the thicker or the thinner phone, as you can see. Compare this to the Note 9 from last year, real quick. There you go. And then from the back. From the side. And then of course, gotta compare this to the 10s Max, as you can see. From the back and then from the front, there you go. Both wallpapers hiding the notch and the cutout, respectively. And then from the side, check out the thinness of the two. So let me know in the comments below what you want me to do with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Is speed tests, durability tests, camera test comparison versus iPhone XS Max, the Pixel 3 XL, etc. Finally got this phone in-house. Thanks for watching. Peace out.